my least favorite order? Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> that's exactly what I want. What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube and the internet and the whole entire world? My name is Dr. Hobbs and today I have a very special video because it's gonna be very awkward to people and for the people that have been subscribed to my channel know that I love going through drive through and putting people in awkward situations but I decided today to eat, okay, car is passing by but I decided to eat, oh my god, yo, what the why am I doing my intro outside? I don't even know. But today I decided to eat drive through his employees least favorite meals on their menu. That's why it's gonna be awkward. Cause who likes to say that they hate something on their menu that's gonna make the company look bad, it's gonna make their restaurant look bad. But it's good to challenge people and see their honest opinion about their least favorite food on their menu and I'm about to try it. But first I really wanted to film this video wearing this shirt. I don't know why I felt this shirt is like friendly, you know, it gets friendly vibes. But it's too wrinkly, it's super, super wrinkly. So maybe I'll put something on top of it. And you know, this might be a little nicer. Maybe, I don't know, a little sweater vibes, you know, it looks nice. Maybe add something on top. Oh wait, maybe this is way too much. Maybe if I add a hat. Oh, the thing is, I don't know why I'm getting so dressed up. I'm literally going to drive through and asking them what's their least favorite food. This is actually way too much. I'm gonna take this off. I don't know why this matters, but it is currently 10.05 a.m. and it's time for breakfast. Let's go grab some food. Actually, my car's that way. I decided to pull out to the Starbucks drive through because this Starbucks right here just opened up. So the employees are super happy. They're always in a great mood. They're not bored of their job yet. So it's gonna be interesting asking them for their least favorite food order and it's breakfast. So hopefully they give me something for breakfast. Look at this line right now. There's a huge line to get to Starbucks and I'm the most impatient human. Nobody is more impatient than me. Here we go. Hello Starbucks, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good, we're gonna get you. First of all, what's your least favorite order? My least favorite order? Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> that's exactly what I want. Uh, yep. Hmm. Okay, there is the honey consistency that I don't like to do because it has to pull out the tea bags out of it and get honey and all that. Whoa, okay. Otherwise, there is the... No, I like that. That sounds super complicated. <laughs> okay, get me one of those. Perfect, what size? Grande one. Is there any food you don't really like? Um... That one of the partners doesn't like the blueberry foam. Okay. Perfect. Amazing. Yeah, want it warmed up or not warm? Uh, what's not better? Not warmed up. Okay, I'll get I'll get it not warmed up. That was so easy. I did not expect that to be that easy. No idea what I ordered. I have absolutely no idea. Every time I go to Starbucks, I order a caramel iced macchiato, super basic. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. All right, time to try it. The drink and that's the muffin. I believe I'm gonna check it out in a second. First of all, it smells like blueberry, like a warmed up blueberry. Ew. It's called Grande Honey Sit Mint Tea. That's what it said. If any of you guys watching drink this, please let me know down in the comment. Um, let's open it. Oh God, that's the inside of it. If it drops in my car, I'm gonna be so pissed. Let's try it out. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh God, it was too hot. But to be honest, it has some citrus mint and some peach tranquility. That's what it has. Those are the two tea bags hanging out from here. I would never order that. Oh my God, this is actually bad. I don't know why Starbucks is selling this, but I'm getting a muffin. I got some calzone that has blueberry in it. This girl really doesn't like blueberry, the Starbucks employee. Oh, you know when you think that's chocolate, you get tricked. I'm gonna think it's chocolate and maybe it's gonna be better. Hmm. This is something I would never order on the Starbucks menu. I never knew they has this calzone blueberry muffin. Mm. That is it. That's all I can do. Two bites, more than enough. Mm. If someone's Starbucks order is these two combined, you have problems. This is my breakfast. I feel like I'm gonna be starving all day because I don't feel too optimistic about these orders. Oh, using some big English words. While I was driving home, I saw this thing, this right there, where I thought that's like a boathouse in the ocean that guides the boats where to go. Why is it in the middle of the road, literally in the middle of the city? I'm about to go and find out what that is. I'm at the bottom of this thing. Can we even go up to it? I'm super curious of what it is. It's so long. Pause, but let's go and check it out if we go go inside. Oh, this is locked. Maybe I could try to break in this thing or maybe not actually. I wonder what's on top. I really wonder what is this for? What is it used for? Like it's like a huge fire hydrant that is stuck in the middle of the field. So I just don't understand what it is. Guess we'll never know what's on top of this huge fire hydrant. I'm hoping lunch is gonna be good. Carving right now. I haven't eaten anything except one bite of whatever Starbucks gave me. Why is this on the floor? Becoming Michelle Obama. There's literally nobody around it and I don't read books Is this a sign that I should be reading how to become Michelle Obama? I guess it is. Oh, it has some notes on it, too All right, New York number one bestseller becoming Michelle Obama 
there's a bunch of notes maybe it could be some school project because it has some stuff highlighted I think the person got to this page and then gave up that's page 61 they stopped at page 61 let go of your past listen to the storm to the story of your heart someone wrote the quotes change your perspective start with small changes I don't know what I'm gonna do with this book maybe read it maybe it's a sign that I should be reading and becoming like Michelle Obama a successful first lady of the United States of Canada I don't know what to do with this I'm gonna drop it and get lunch because um, I'm super hungry a and W and they don't really like me over here because I've been doing a lot of drive-thru videos back in the days like the top one I mean, it's, it's a full burger oh so it's not a pizza <laughs> No. Specifically this one right here and let's see what they're gonna give me Hopefully they remember me and still don't like me so they can give me the worst they can I want this to be a challenge, you know, even though I'm starving. Hi, what can I get for you today? Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Um, I just need what's your least favorite item on the menu? My least favorite? Your least favorite Um, that's a good question. I don't like the sweet potato fries Great, I've got sweet potato fries. Okay then. And do you have a least favorite drink? A least favorite? I don't like the root beer. I, I literally hate both of these things, but I'm gonna get the smallest root beer you have. Okay. All right, thank you. Bro, I actually hate these things. I literally hate both of the stuff she told me. Was it your least favorite item? Um, no, it was. I was talking to her. Why are you doing this to yourself? I don't know. I actually, it's a challenge. You know, I'm gonna see what you don't like. Are you sorry? You see the camera right there? Oh no, that's not a camera. It's, it's a oh, school project. I can see it. <laughs> oh, you can see it? Ah, uh, damn. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Um, I don't know what is this and why I got that. I do not like root beer. I never order root beer. Sweet potato fries from a and are actually the worst. I've had them one time. Two chipotle sauce. Usually, draft food people hate giving you sauce, but they gave me two without me asking and for free. You know, see, being nice to people sometimes pays off sometimes get it over with here we go yep cough medicine that's what it reminds me of it's like bubblegum cough medicine better than breakfast this was better than the starbucks drink i would give you that for it but i can finish it yep it reminds me of my childhood when my mom used to force it down my throat not that the cough medicine the sweet potato fries they're actually so dirty i hate how orangey they look there we go fries are not made to be eaten sweet I know a lot of people are hating on me. I know a lot of people love them. French fries aren't made to be sweet. They're not. They're made to be salty and crispy with nice salt. This is not, you know, a very healthy lunch. I'm not gonna finish the sweet potato fries. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's all I'm gonna be eating. One, two bites. That's another one. Just to, you know, mmm, mmm. Stay there, I'm eating them. But I'm for sure gonna finish the root beer and then get going with our day. As you figured, currently at the mall and usually I put the mask like this. I hide my nose and mouth. But when I talk to the camera, I need to put it down a little bit quick so you guys can understand what I'm saying. Get some dinner food and what's best than a nice Asian spot that has everything displayed in the front like Panda Express or Manchu Wok. You know the vibes. I'm going to ask them what's their least of the whole thing. And usually these people are so nice. They always give samples and free stuff. And then I'm going to go eat it with my French on. I'm not having dinner by myself. How are you? What is the least popular here? Yeah, here on this. What's the least? Yeah, what would you suggest? What's your least one? You don't like this? Okay, that's more spicy. Okay, get me that. You don't like this? Let's get some of this. You said you don't like this? Let's get that. Yeah. I was so confused and I have my French horn with me. Look at the vibe. That's her least favorite oh, order. That's an interesting way of describing that. But yeah, look at this. It's a little burn, a very spicy chicken. Why do you pick me? I like the videos where you give me good sh it's been so long we haven't like yeah, hung yeah, out. Coming out with here's trash stuff no. that nobody likes. <laughs> no, that's not what it is. You might like it. It's just chicken, bro. Come on. It's just spicy chicken. But I've been eating dookie food all day. Yo, oh my god, look at this chicken. It's yellow from the inside. You see this? I'm definitely coating it in some rice. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's actually not bad. Not bro. bad. It's, very, it's just dry. But I don't think she understood what I was saying. That's, I swear. That's a common occurrence for you. No, no, I don't think she understood. She was, camera. She was staring at it all the time and worried what I'm doing. I was gonna say that. Look, you know this bracelet? My bracelet? Uh -huh. I've had this on my hand in every single video. I've had it both on my hand literally for 12 years. The left strong bracelet. Are it's, you gonna lose it? It's about, bro, I'm gonna cry. It's about to rip right here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but literally right here, it's about to rip. Bro, the day this is gonna go off my hand, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. And I can see it coming because when I was camping and stuff, it was going loose. Is there any way to save it? No, I have another one, but it's not the same it's one. Not the same. Bro, my dad got me that from the States. I was in Lebanon. How long has that been on your wrist? 12 years. I never took it off. I swear to God, not one day. I had that weddings. That thing has seen some crazy shit. Crazy, yeah. A lot of crazy <laughs> stuff. It's seen a lot of stuff. Even like when I had to wear a suit. 
I used to keep it on. I never took it off. It's kind of beach though. It means a lot to me and now it's gonna go. That's true. It's a new Sometimes page. Sometimes it's good to let things go. Literally every time I come to Sean's warehouse, there's something new. Can I show them this or no? Not really. I was gonna show you something very nice, but Sean got a bike. Can I show the bike? Yep. Echo bike. I don't know how I can fit on this. That's hot. That is actually so hot. It's hit me now. I know. It's hitting me too. I keep like putting my tongue out. I got a wish mystery box. The wish box is bigger than you, bro. It's actually bigger than you. You, you might fit in there. I can fit in there for sure. Is there stuff in there? Whoa, oh, whoa. Okay, whoa, my bad. Whoa. My bad. My bad. Whoa. Every time I come here, there's some new stuff. Very there's. Hot, oh, what the hell? I used it for, I bought all this on Amazon. Go oh, check out the I, video I, in the description. Mm -hmm. You have a zipline too. I almost showed the thing that you don't want me to show. Oh, here we go. Broke it last time. I did, because I was a little called too fat but now i've been going on hikes and stuff so i'm good lose any weight yeah he's gonna break it bro my paws is it gonna break just like fall don't jump ah! <laughs> Actually, yeah. it's not it's not optimally set up yet nope it's not and the thing is if any of you guys want a phone just comment down below phone and i'll send you one of those sean has a bunch and he's, really he's very like generous. Six. And this is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button and let me know what you want me to do next when I go to the drive-thru. Maybe ask for their favorite meal or maybe ask for the most expensive item on their menu and order it. Let me know, guys, what you want me to do in the next video. Comment it down below. But if you made it till the end of this video, I love you. As always, turn your haters to motivators. I will see you next time. A Peace.